There we go. Kind of out of time, but I'll take it. Sure. <sighs> this game is a piece of work. Wow. Thanks so much, Mr. Spyro. I've been looking for this kite all summer. A dragon without a dragonfly is like peanut butter without jelly. No, that's not quite right. <laughs> Yeah, peanut butter is perf- I, I mean, you're not entirely wrong. Dragons are perfectly good on their own without dragonflies. Just as peanut butter is perfectly good on its own without jelly. Although, I might be biased considering most, Just about wrapped up here. Because that looks like the return portal. And we still need the ice breath to get one of the dragonflies here. And ten more gems. Yeah. I mean, as long as we're coming back for the dragonflies, I don't see why. I don't see any problem with just leaving the gems for now. I'll take one look around. Eh, all right, if you insist. Gives you more time to talk about final your Final Fantasy XIV fetish. Well, like I said, I'm trying to keep my commentary connected to Spyro. Okay, then make your your fetish about Spyro. Hey, you keep using that word. <laughs> I don't think it means what you think it means. <laughs> I'm surprised you got that reference. What reference? I just found it funny. And there it goes. <laughs> oh god, we need to... We need to culture you up some. There's a movie called The Princess Bride. It is one of the most quotable things ever produced. summed up in a single reaction. I hate that those crickets are the same color as the purple gems, because I keep seeing them and being like, oh, there's the gem. Also work on those guys. Yep. Spyro, okay. my kite got. We know. We know. those. 
I do not know. That's how we're invisible. Wouldn't it be faster to just go back the other way? I don't know. To go back to the Spyro Reignited thing, uh, anything else you're particularly hoping for? Not really. No, nothing, no expectations, no, nothing. I think it would be the same as the original 3, just remastered and remastered music. I mean, sure, that's going to be great and all, but, like, personally, I'm really excited to see how the skateboarding minigames turn out. I like Sergeant Bird's levels. Those were also quite fun. I always used to pretend he was Birdramon and I would call out their her her his their attacks and Yeah, I <laughs> You really did love your Digimon. Hmm. But yes, the Sergeant Bird levels were quite, quite fun. I'm also get looking forward to, like, not gonna lie, I'm looking forward to Nasty's World in HD. <laughs> yeah, look at, and that's the one that had less levels. Because it was, they, they did have some time constraints, but they, they handled it a lot better there. Yeah. Than in, than in this game. I know. A magic of the they either had time constraints or, or they were rushed or something, I don't remember what, there. but. The, the final world was supposed to be just like the other home worlds where it was like three levels, a flight level, and then a boss. Yeah. And it only had two levels and a boss and then a bonus level. Right. <laughs> and honestly, it worked out fine. What they could have had is the, the regular three levels, the flight level, the boss, and then a bonus level like they would they did later in Ripple's Racing Year to Dragon. <laughs> I'm not complaining. And we have lightning breath. That's the ice one. I'm gonna show you guys something real cool real quick and then we'll be done with this. Sure. Mm. It's actually a bug or a glitch, whatever you want to talk about. For my I'm trying to say I always have I always have to remember the two. A glitch is a some is a is a random occurrence that doesn't always happen. A bug is something that always happens at the same place. Oh, so a bug is repeatable. Yeah. That's what that's what a bug is. A glitch. I've been wondering about the difference, to be perfectly you honest. You didn't know? I I had just used them interchangeably before. No, a bug is a constant thing. Like, if, like, do you remember the level up bug of Gans, Volk, and Densimo since they share the same HP pattern growth? Right, yes. They lose HP at one level in the box that, sh that shows you plus whatever HP I should actually blank. Right, right, right. But the rest of the stats are actually shown just fine. So, like, at level, I think it was like 42. Volt goes down. Right, so, right. So right. that pattern of HP goes down from 422 to 470. So it goes. Right, and that's that's because of a a misprint in the code. Yeah. So you got you go from 416 HP to 422, then down to 417, then back to 422, and then. Yeah. Right, right, right. Okay. Yeah. That 
And then, and then, like at level 60, you gain you gain 10 HP. When out of when when all the levels previously were going like between four and three and four, so right. it's like they 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 tried to partially fix the bug, but it was still, well, but it was still off if you because if you if you calculate it yeah. and you add up all the levels that what you were supposed to be receiving, it comes up to like ten more HP at, at your maximum, um, right health. <laughs> like I think you're supposed to gain like five HP at level forty two instead of the subtraction that it did because of the bug. Right. So yeah, a but, bug. But yes, a bug is a, something that is repeatable and is in the code. A glitch the, is just something the, that that happens. Yeah, a bug is repeatable at the same place. At, at the, it'll always happen at that whatever it is. Right, and under the same conditions, it's scientifically verifiable. A glitch is a ra random occurrence that can happen anywhere. Like here, if I can find the right spot. Right, I remember this bug. Glitch. No, bug. We are actually, there is an actual bug here that we are executing. Just just bear with us here. <laughs> it's one of the most famous, one of the famous bugs. Here it is. Ah, uh, yep. Congratulations, we are no longer restrained by the laws of reality. What I don't understand is usually when you when you emerge in the water, or like if you go, if you go up, it's like it's like once you leave the fence and you go up above the water, it doesn't detect that you're not out in the, it thinks you're still in the water. Yeah, because they probably never coded that area to have exit, you know, to no longer count as in the water because you haven't. I. The way I would imagine it working is in the game's code, whenever you come up from the water, the game has a piece of code that says you are no longer swimming. Uh -huh. But because we didn't pass that barrier, because we are outside of the normal play area, and they didn't put that in the water surface outside of that fence, we never triggered it. We, we don't According to the game and the code, we're still underwater. So we are behaving exactly as if we were still underwater. See, when you, when you, and then this area, which is normally connected, it looks like it's just been broken up into random islands. Yep. Ah, good old, uh, buggy buggy code. Because here's the ice thing. Yeah. And we're just gonna ignore that. Of course, when you're under, when you're underwater, quote-unquote, you can't actually trigger the the level loading platforms. Right, because you have to be, you have to stand on them and you can't stand on them. And I'm actually connect, collecting these gems when I'm not supposed to be, but oh well. Like, whatever. It'll save us time later. But yeah. Interesting little factoid I, that I just remembered, actually. Um, you know how fighting games have that whole combo system? You mean like Dynasty Warriors? Where, like, when you hit something and you continue to do your attack animations and you, you keep up a, a combo going while the enemy is still flinching... You mean like the, the different combos with each like square triangle, square square triangle, and dynasty warriors, and etc. Not quite. Well, it, the reason you can do that, like the reason you can keep hitting an enemy while they're flinching uh, from your first hit in um, in Dynasty Warriors, is because uh, in the original Street Fighter, they had actually planned for they they hadn't planned 
for combos like that to be a thing. It was the result of a bug, but it ended up becoming such an integral part of the gameplay. Uh -huh. Yep, and see, now that we've interacted with the water surface, uh, the game has fixed itself. Because we've reset the uh, the trigger. But anyway, yeah, like, it, it be ended up becoming such an integral part of the game that they just went with it. And combos became a thing in fighting games from that point on. So wait, combos were a bug, or a glitch, whatever. A bug. O originally, like, yes. There, I'm sure you can find videos on it. Um, I Now, I could be wrong. It has been a while since I last read up on that, but I'm reasonably certain that is that is the history of it. So you're only meant to hit enemies once and that's it? Yeah, pretty much. But players discovered that by executing certain sequences of buttons while the enemy was still flinching, you could keep up, uh, you could continue to hit the enemy um, while their guard was down, rather than having to basically play rock, paper, scissors. So if you opened up the enemy with a combo, with one attack, you could start a combo. And that has evolved to become the basis of an entire genre of games that has a professional tournament scene. Like Kingdom Hearts, Dynasty Warriors, Fantasy Star Universe. Wait, Fantasy Star. You're, you're thinking wrong, the wrong kind of games. Think Street Fighter. Well, Fantasy Star Universe didn't really do use any combos anyway. You can, you can just keep hitting enemies. Yeah. Street Fighter, Marvel vs. Capcom, um, Digimon the, Rumble Arena has combos like that. The first Dynasty Warriors. I suppose? That's kind of like a... I've never played it. It's kind of like a, like a boxing match type game? That's, yeah, that's probably closer. Uh, Tekken! It's like Tekken, I think, yeah. Yeah, the whole reason Tekken has combos is because Street Fighter had that bug, and people loved it. Anyway, there's your, your bit of potentially erroneous video game trivia for the uh, whatever this is. Uh, we will see you folks later. And until then, take care.